Oké, okay, coaches, mijn excuses voor de vertraging. Uh, we zoeken nog één een extra speler. Dus als er kandidaten zijn. Als er kandidaten zijn, mogen we wel zien dat we het opgelost krijgen. We gaan starten met, uh, met acht. Goed, laatste kliniek voor, uh, laatste kliniek voor vandaag. Na een uh, stevige, pittige dag voor de meesten onder ons. Uh, maar ik denk wel dat de moeite nog gaat zijn om coach Zolder nog uh, aan het woord te horen. Ik heb hem er strak op de off-court kliniek uh, bezig gehoord. Zeer fijne, aangename spreker. Het is onze feedback coach voor dit, uh, dit jaar. Um, en de coach weet toch wel stevig wat palmaris ondertussen. Uh, zowel in Duitsland, uh, eerste klas, als assistant coach uh, van de Duitse nationale ploeg. Um, Head coach van de Oostenrijkse nationale ploeg. Oostenrijk kampioen gespeeld in eerste klas. Op dit moment actief in Polen. Dus de coach die toch wel wat watertjes heeft doorzwommen. Uh, en toch met een heel pak ervaring in een stevige rugzak. Uh, dus voilà, heel veel plezier. Eén kleine dienstmededeling nog. Er staat nog één Q&A geplant uh, op het einde van de dag. Uh, en normaal is er nog tussen deze kliniek en die Q&A een pauze. Die pauze gaan we schrappen en we laten de Q&A voor de geïnteresseerden direct aansluiten op de kliniek. Het heeft weinig nut om er nog een half uur tussen te laten. Uh, ik denk dat voor iedereen echt een lange dag geweest is. Dus onmiddellijk na de kliniek doen we de Q&A nog met de sprekers die nog aanwezig zijn. En dan zit een uh, dag erop. Zo, veel plezier alleszins en tot straks. Coach, Thank the floor you. is yours. Well, for those I, I haven't seen today, um, hello again. Um, it's my honor to be here and speak in front of you. Um, today, I'm sorry, I still have this for my voice. Um, I want to talk about how to develop a defensive concept. And like I, like I explained in the previous clinic, I want to have a defensive concept with which I can cover any, any possible offensive tactic. I don't want to adjust my defense to possible tactics that the other team can play. I want to I wanna have one system with which I can cover everything. Um, at first, I want to talk a little bit about our principles. First and foremost, for me, it is important to play good transition defense. Um, when we talk about transition defense, our goal is we want to create five on five as early as possible. We don't want to get into either a numbers disadvantage situation, two on one, three on two, whatever the other team could have, or a situation where there is one on one on an open court or two on two on an open court, because the more space, the more time is involved, it's always an advantage to the offense. We want to create five on five as early as possible. For me, transition defense starts already on offense. And one, one very important point when we talk about transition defense is rebounding. Now I, I forgot, I need two guys, two, two players. Let's go, first two. When we talk about transition defense, we, we start to teach transition defense with rebounding. Okay, go to the corner, please. You're on offense, you're on defense. Throw me one ball, please. Okay. If I, okay, we're going to do this now. I'm shooting the ball. You try to cra crash the glass, you box him out. Okay? Ready? Let's go. Okay, stop. He initially did the right thing. He initially did the right thing, but I put him in a very easy situation in the corner. A lot of guys, when I teach them to go to the offensive class, The defender will try to box him out, probably like this. He will try to go on the baseline side to rebound the ball. That's already the first mistake when we talk about transition defense. I have one rule that I, that I tell all my players. When you go to the offensive rebound, there are two options. First option is he's boxing out good. Box him, go slowly, box, box him out, go to the middle, go to the middle, push him, push him, push him. Okay, now, you're losing You're losing the battle about position. This means there is no way that he can beat you in transition. You have now, for transition defense, you have better position because you're behind him. This means when we're going back, there is no way that he can overtake you. If he were to overtake you, you are too slow. 
And if you're too slow, you can't play. So that's option one. Option two is you win the battle. He cannot box you out. You're winning the battle for position. Now you need to take the offensive rebound. This is the only two options. There is no excuse. There is no excuse for your man beating you down the court. That's number one. The second thing is, what we also teach the players is go, go behind him again. OK, let's say he doesn't take the rebound. Somebody else is taking it on the other side. Now it's becoming a one-on-one -on -one duel immediately from now to the other side. OK, go real slow. Show me how you would go on the other side. Go, both of you. OK, stop. Here is the first mistake. The battle begins here. It begins right here. Come back. If I were to teach the offense now, it's not my topic, but if I were to teach the offense, I would tell him to try to push him out as soon as possible, right, right like this. Push him out and take the position. Now I have the advantage. There is only two ways for him to get back, unsportsmanship foul or magician. This is the only two ways. And plus, there is, there is no referee in the world is going to call offensive foul on me when we are when we're both running. We're both running and I'm doing this. No referee is going to call me for a foul. It's always going to be on you. But we're not talking about defense. So I'm, I'm teaching the same strategy to him now. The same. You're boxing out. We're boxing. We're fighting for the ball. Now is, I see that the ball is not coming to me. I need to pivot like this and get you on, to go outside, to go outside that I can take the inside route. That there's no way he can beat me down the court. And this goes for everybody. You have, when the ball is up in the air, you have five duels. Five duels on the court. Not all are for the rebound, of course, because you're sending only three guys to the rebound. But you need to fight immediately when the ball is going up for position. And use and keep and hold this position until we're in five on five. Thanks. The second thing is we do not contest outlet passes. A lot of teams do this. Let's say you're taking the rebound. Well, they will, they will go there and contest the outlet pass. I don't want this. I've never seen in my whole life that he's stealing the ball from that guy if both of those guys can play basketball. I've never seen it. What I've seen, though, is that he, if he's sprinting back, that he's helped somebody else back there stopping the ball. That I have seen, and I see repeatedly on my teams. So we're not contesting the outlet pass. You're not taking the rebound. OK, I'm fighting with you. I'm fighting. I'm too small or whatever. I'm not getting the rebound. OK, go. Go. And my goal is, my first goal is half court. To the half court line, I'm doing nothing but running as fast as I can. I don't turn around. I don't look. I'm, I'm only flying. I'm flying to the half court line. On half court, if the ball is still behind me, I'm turning and I'm observing. I'm trying to find my matchup. I'm trying to find where is the ball, and I'm trying to position myself accordingly. If the ball is still ahead of me, could be if it's a long rebound or something, I'm still going. I'm still going until I reach the level of the ball. The second, let me see the ball. The second important thing is, I just said it, I want to position myself always accordingly to the basketball. Let's say I take the rebound. You're on defense. OK, do, box him out, box him out. OK, go. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Run, 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 run. OK, stop. OK, here is the ball. You're already past half court. Now you, OK, stop, stop, stop. Stay, 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 stay. Now I start to position myself according to the basketball. I don't want to focus where is my man. I want to focus where is my man and where is the ball. If I'm here, you're on the line between me and him, closer to him than what you are to me, and with your upper body turned towards your man, like this. And a little bit closer to me. A little bit closer, closer to me, to me, to me. OK, stop. This is good. This is good position, OK? If the ball is moving here, now you adjust your position. If the ball is going over, watch. 
if the ball is coming over here, now you're going all the way to the basket basket line, but still seeing your man. You don't run, you don't run to your man, you run to your spot. This is what we're teaching the players. And one of the biggest mistakes you can make in transition is focusing too much on your opponent rather than where is the ball. We want to we want to go into five on five as early as possible. That's what I said. In our five on five concept, we always play five men against the ball, not five men, not one on one, but five men against the basketball. Okay, let's go back. Okay, the last thing. We, we do about transition is when my man has the ball, let's say you take the ball, bop, you're still in, you're fighting for the rebound, bop. Now, what I don't want, I don't want to foul in transition. Not because of the unsportsmanship rule, which was implemented, I did this before. I, I have the philosophy that every foul is the, the possible worst defense that you can play. I mean, foul actually means I'm too bad to guard you, I need to foul you. And this I don't want on, on purpose. If it happens, it happens, but I don't want to make fouls on purpose. Now, I teach my players, it's your job, you have better position, you're in between your man and the basket, now it's your job to stay there, to stay in between him and the basket at all costs. And the first step would be just to make sure that he's staying in between, which means he's dribbling, you can, you can just stay in between. Go back. The second stage, the second stage that we're talking is not only to stay between him and, him and the, the own basket, but also to get the ball out of the middle, to influence the ball on one side of the court. Doesn't matter which side, just out of the middle. Which means when, when, when you're guarding him now, you use your inside hand down here, and the other hand is up, okay? Like this, go, go, like this, up, up. And when, he, when he's going back, you come here and you cut him off again. You force him again to the outside. Okay, let's do this at 50% speed, okay? Give me the ball, take the rebound. Ready? Hands, 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 hands. Use your hands, use your hands, use your hands. Use your hands, use your hands. Good, okay, good, good, good. Okay. That's just the basic, that's just the basic idea of what, what we want to accomplish in transition. Everything that happens after we have five on five, we have established five on five, is going according to our concept. So we don't change nothing if this is transition or secondary break or early offense, we don't change nothing. Everything is the same. Our second principle, our second principle, come with me. Our second principle is ball pressure. We always want to have ball pressure, always. And this is what I, what I started to, to talk about, using the hands. When we talk about defense, everybody's talking about footwork. And this is absolutely correct. You need to have very good footwork. But this is not enough anymore. It's not enough anymore to have good footwork. You need to work with your hands. You need to work with your hands, especially this distracting vision and distracting ball handling. So if he's dribbling, all the time my hand needs to be here. All the time my hand needs to be working. The other hand is constantly up, constantly up. And we always want the, the middle hand to be low and the outside hand to be high and influencing the ball to the side. And give him, and, and what is happening now, you see it already, if you're doing this correctly, immediately he goes into a defensive protective stance. He's not going forward, dribble. He's not going forward, stop. He's not going forward anymore. He's turning his back and he's going into a protective stance. Now if he wants to beat me, I mean, have you ever seen a sprinter starting like this? No, because he's no chance. If he's like this, now his first step is attacking me directly. If he's in the protective stance, go in the protect, protective stance, in his, protect, his first step, his first step needs to be backwards, because I'm here. His first step needs to be back or spinning. But with a spin move, he's never gonna beat me. So I need, as a defender, I need to put him in a disadvantage situation. And I do this by applying pressure rather than backing off. 
When I'm here, when I'm here, the farther back I am, the more leverage I give him to create speed. The closer I am to him, the more it is to my advantage because he's going to go in a protective stance. So all the time, we want to apply pressure all the time. Physical pressure and visual pressure. All the time, one hand should be in his, in his area of vision. Especially, and I will come to this later, in pick and roll situations, when he's coming off the screen. We want to block his path of vision rather than what we want to block his path of, of moving the ball. And the last thing is, a lot of, a lot of people ask me this question, yeah, when you pressure so much, we, you pressure so much, you commit a lot of fouls. Yes and no. If you have bad teams, yes. If you have good teams, no. If you have, who gets the foul? Who gets called for the foul? Usually the team that reacts. As soon as I become active on defense and I'm pressuring him and I'm pushing him and all the time I'm here, with good referees, you won't get called for fouls. You won't get called for fouls. And if they do call the foul, they will call the fouls in the first quarter and at some point they will stop. They will say, oh, we have already 27 free throws. I want to be home by 8 o'clock, so let's stop it. All my teams that I've coached have always been in the lower third of the league in committing fouls, while at the same time always been the team with applying the most pressure. I think part of it has to do for sure with the, with the non-fouling on purpose rule, that we're not making you know, every quarter four fouls just by hacking somebody, but also the, the, that we are applying the pressure and we're active is forcing the other team reacting to us lets us commit less faults. Okay, the third point, I already spoke about this in transition, no middle. Um, we have an area from lane line to lane line on both sides, in between in the middle, this is the area where we don't want the ball. And it doesn't matter where on the court. From lane line to lane line, we don't want the ball for the other team to have it there. First reason why, we always want to create help side and ball side. Let's go on. Okay, two more, two more players. Okay, go on this wing, go on this wing. Defense, 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 defense. Okay, hold the ball. Okay, you're on defense. Okay, if the ball is on the side, if the ball is on the side, actually there is one offensive player against two defenders. You're on the basket-basket line, line between the two baskets. The player without the ball cannot score. Without the ball, you're not a threat. Only the, the threat in basketball is the ball itself. It's not the players, it's the ball, and whoever is in possession of the ball. And maybe somebody who is ready to take possession of the ball but all the other players are not a threat. So what we need to stop is we need to stop the ball rather than we need to focus on stopping the players. So we're doing this by, by creating, always creating a ball side and a help side. Everybody on the help side, doesn't matter how many people will be there, will be on the basket-basket line. If we become a little bit more advanced, we will also put one guy a little bit farther out. I will explain this later, but this is only you know, towards the end of the season when everybody's 100% sure what we want to do. Let's put the ball in the middle. Okay, you see already, if the ball's here, now you need to adjust yourself. Now it is more one-on-one -on -one than what it is one-on-two. -on, on the right side, if he's penetrating now, there is very little chance to help. If he's coming on this side, now he needs to take a decision what he wants to do. He wants to help and leave his own player or he wants to stunt, fake, whatever. Okay, come over here. Move, move to the corner, please. If the ball is on the same side, we have the rule, the rule is generally that we're always on the line between the ball and our man. So right here somewhere. Yes, okay and always turn more to your men, like this a little bit. Okay. 
every path that is going forward from the level of the ball, from here towards the basket, we want to deny. Every path that is going backwards, on the line, you, every path that is going backwards, we don't deny, we're staying like this on the line, straight. So no deny, straight, okay? Why is that? We want to influence that the ball is always going away from our basket. We want the other team, we want to invite the other team to move the ball away from our basket. And all the, all the balls that are going towards our basket, we want to disrupt the timing and we want to disrupt and we want to dictate where the other team, in what areas they can put the ball. For example, we would, we would, we would rather have the ball in an area two meters, two, three meters away from the three-point line in this area than to have it in the corner. Because, the reason for this is very simple, because of the choices that you have. If you have the ball here, if you, if you have the ball here, you're not a direct threat to the basket. I mean, they're okay. If you're Steph Curry, you're a threat from here, but everybody else, no. If you are in the corner, you're already in shooting range, so you're, you're already a threat to the basket. And that's something that we, we try to eliminate. We try to eliminate threats, threats to the basket. Okay, now I need all eight, please. Okay, go black, go black, go black. One, two, three, four, you're already black, okay. Okay, black is on defense, white is on offense. Give me four outside positions. Give me the ball, please. Corner, corner, wing, wing, corner. Okay, this is basically speaking how we, how we would like the other team to set up. Of course, there, there is going to be a fifth player who is going to be somewhere inside the three-point line. That's something we don't worry for right now. That's what, how we want the other team to set up. We want them to be outside the middle corridor. We want them to have a ball side and a weak side. Let's say this is the ball side. Then everybody here is basket, basket line. And now from this point, we, and this is our fifth principle, we, we do not rotate. We do not rotate. We are helping, yes, but we're not rotating. This means, for example, the ball's in the corner. Okay, you're going baseline. Go, go baseline. Stop. You need to help, right? Go to help. Okay, this is the first help. He need to help. Now you need to help your teammate. You're doing this by dropping down, drop, 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 and like this, and you can see. Not like this. Like this. You want to see. Okay, you want to see. Drop all the way. Drop all the way. And no matter where he passes, he's going back to his own man. Let's make example one. You're passing here 45. Okay, back to your man. Back to your man. Upside. Upside. Okay, same situation. Put it back. Put it back. Put it, no, no, put it back in the corner. Okay, drive again. Okay, pass in the corner. In the corner, in the corner, in the corner, in the corner. Okay, he's passing in the corner. Now, a lot of coaches would say, okay, we want to X rotate. This means you will go, X rotation is simple, you're going in the corner, you're going up. We don't want that. We don't want that. Why we don't want that? Because we, we would like to have individual responsibility and we want to trigger our second help to be early. We don't want him to be in a position where he can, okay, I can be late because I need to go to the corner anyway. No. So what we're doing is, come back, come back, put it back in the corner. Okay, first help is coming, drive. First help, second help, okay, pass in the corner. This pass, we want to take away for sure. This is your job. So there is only going to be one pass allowed, okay? That's the first thing. If, for whatever reason, give him back. Okay, try to take away this pass and pa pass it in some way that is still going there. Pass. Okay, in this case, which is, we don't want this, but we still have a solution for it, you're going to stunt. You know what is stunting? Stunt, pop, and then on the line, up the line, you're going back to your man. But on the line, that he, the pass needs to be over you or bounce pass. Okay, let's do it 50% speed. Go. 
Good. In the corner. Good, 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 good. One more time. Penetrate baseline, penetrate baseline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run it back, run it back. Wait, wait, stop, 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 sorry. We have a question. What? So right now is penetration there. Now you're doing the same thing. You're going down. Yeah. And then you stunt or you go back to your man. Okay? Half side. Do it one more time. So he's got the ball. Or you're half side. Go, go, go. Down. Okay, good. Yep, stunt. Good. Okay, super. Okay. A lot of players ask me this, yeah, coach. But if the ball is going to the corner, I'm leaving the ball. How is this possible? I always say this, it's very simple. If you think about a shot, you've already missed it. If you think about a shot, you've already missed it. And the guy in the corner is told by his coach, what? Extra pass, extra pass, extra pass. All the time, this is what we're doing. Every drill that we're doing is extra pass. Make the extra pass, be se don't be selfish. Pass the ball, pass the ball. Now I'm coming here, I'm stunting, and I'm taking away the pass. He's thinking, ah, oh, shall I shoot or shall I pass? This moment he already missed. Plus, the second thing is that we, with practice, we manage to, to take away this corner pass. We very little, very, very little, they are really able to, to get the ball in the corner. Somebody needs to sleep here or be really lazy, and then we will find some other solution for that. Okay, what happens, what happens now if the ball is coming 45? This is the next question that I get. But coach, this is a long way for me to recover. Okay, one more time, drive. Stop, freeze. Okay, very good, very good. Now, if he's passing 45, pass. The next player, this player, will also stunt. If the ball is coming here, you go like this. Oh, and then back, okay? Let's do it one time. Go. Stunt. Good. Close out. Good. Stop. Back. Fast. 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 If the ball is when the ball is passed, you need to go. Not three minutes later. Immediately when the ball is going, go. So one more time. One more time. Go. Good. Good. Run. 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 Good. Excellent. Stop. Very good, it's getting already very good. Now, think about next guy is going to stunt. If there is pass, if the, your man is passing the ball, you're here, yes. your man is passing the ball, if the ball's in the air, as long as the ball's in the air, you're moving. When he's passing the ball there, you're stunting and back to your man. Okay, one more time, put the ball in the corner. Let's go, hop, stunt, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Good, 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 down, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. One more time, ball here. Okay, we, we didn't speak about this now, but you see already how good, it, how good it's been and I really haven't explained much. Now he's driving from 45, first help was good, second help, down, down, drop, 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 exactly, exactly, right there. This is the hardest pass in basketball. When he's coming here, he wants to shoot the layup. This pass is the hardest pass in basketball. This is the pass we want to give him. Okay? Okay. One sec before you rest. What, what we need to work on, what you need to work on a lot is this stunting technique and also um, anticipation for this stunting. This is something that players develop pretty quickly that they find what kind of distance they need to stunt with. And it's, it's pretty individual. There are some guys who are looking a, a lot taller and bigger than what they are, and there's a, a, a couple of guys that look a lot smaller than what they are. And depending on, on, on their physique, they need to get closer or they don't need to get so close. I've seen a guy who's, I wanna say 190, and but he has huge hands, he's been able like this, from two meters, nobody ever shot that shot against him. He was very athletic, and guys were scared that he would go and, and drop like this, but this was enough. This was enough. And some players need to get a little bit closer, depending on how slow they are. Some people 
Some players even go from that side. They are coming more from the inside. But that is something that you really need to work on with the player, stunting. And the next advantage of it is, I want to show this one more time. Um, pass the ball here. Let's say you're stunting. Oh, go, go down, go down, go down, go down. OK. The pass just came here. Let's say the pass just arrived here. Now you're stunting. Stunt? Oh. If this guy was to penetrate now, which side he would penetrate? Which way you would penetrate? Exactly. He would go on the left side. So what he would do is he would take the ball towards his initial defender. So he would make it actually easier for you to recover, right? Because he's coming to you rather than going away from you. So that's why we always do this stunting, that we're forcing the ball. The ball is coming from there. We want the ball to go back there. We don't want the ball to go to the other side. We want the ball to go back there. So all the time, stunt. Now, communication. Communication is very, very important. We, we give the players in this setup only two commands. Only two commands. The first command is ball. So everybody who's guarding the ball is saying ball. And everybody who's on the help side is saying help side. Now, is it necessary for players to say help side? We can discuss about that. Probably not. But we still do it as a reminder for themselves to check if they're in the right position. If I'm saying help side, I, I will check myself and correct myself if I'm on the help side. If I don't say it, if I don't develop the habit, there is a good chance that I forget it. So let's do this now, OK? You pass the ball around, just passing. No dribbling, no attacking, no shooting, just passing the ball. And you guys are adjusting according to where is the ball and talking. If you have the ball, ball. If you're on help side, help side. OK, ready? Put the ball one more time here, please. Thank you. OK. Remember what I said earlier. What did I say earlier? Where we don't want the ball. Where we don't want the ball. Oh, in the corner? OK, yeah. But I said, most importantly, we don't want the ball here, in the middle. So now his stance is inviting him to bring the ball in the middle. Yeah? We want to, we want to keep the ball on the side. We want to keep the ball on the side. What we want in when we talk about individual defense now, no chance that he will get beat in the middle. So if he's attacking the middle, let's say you're like this. Now attack the middle. You need to go here and make contact. Either your foul or his foul, but there need to be contact. OK? If he's going baseline, if he's going baseline, we say he needs to contain him for two dribbles. For two dribbles, he needs to stay with him. On the third dribbling, there need to be help. But two dribbles, he need to contain. So two dribbles, close the middle, close the middle, close the middle. If he's taking two dribbles, one, two, you need to stay with him. OK? With two dribblings, he cannot make layup. When he's three or four, it doesn't matter. It's not your fault. He's going to drive, and I need to Yeah. OK? Move the ball, move the ball, move the ball. Up. Good, 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 good. Move the ball, move the ball. OK, drive, drive, drive. Good, good, very good, very good. Stop, stop, very good. Very good, he had good stance, he had good stance, two dribblings, he contained him, OK. We can say he didn't, he didn't receive the ball properly, but very good, very good. Now, doesn't matter where is the ball. Always this principle is, is for us important. So if the ball's in the corner, no middle. No middle. No middle. Close the middle. Close the middle. OK, if, if he's here, and, and remember what we said about ball pressure. Right now, he's in reactive stance. Go, go one, more, no, go one more time here. Now, your defense is only reacting to what he's doing, right? He's shot faking. You will probably, you will probably go up. Yeah? If, he's, if he's making a jab step, you will probably move a little bit to that side. If you don't, he will beat you with the dribbling. Um, so you're in re reactive stance. You want to get in this area minimum one arm length, but like this. Look what he's doing. Look what he's doing. He's going in protective stance. He's moving the ball back. Yes. So he, take the ball there. Now penetrate baseline. Oh, OK. 
He's going to break my nose with that move. But you understand? All the time pressure. All the time pressure. OK. Let's, let's move again the ball. When I say drive, attack with dribbling. Doesn't matter what side, wherever. Go. Drive, drive, drive. Drive, drive. Good, good, very good, very good. Stop, 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 stop. OK, very good, very good. What I haven't talked about is one pass away on the ball side, what are we doing? You help now. This is the easiest shot in basketball. When I'm coming here, you're coming, and make this is the best shot in basketball. This is the shot everybody's practicing in practice. This is what I love. So what we're doing is, you're doing here, stunt. You're going like, you, you're going like this. Exactly, you're, you're here, drive, drive. You're going like this down, but then you go like this. Okay, so we never help from the ball side. We're, we're stunting, but we never help from the ball side. Okay, one time drive. Ready, ready? Wait, 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 wait. Help side, help side, help side, help side, help side. OK, ready? Go. Oh, one more time, 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 one more time. Not bad, not bad, but on the line. Not behind the line. If you go behind the line, it's still a straight pass. You want to force, you want to force bounce pass or lob pass. Never straight pass. One more time. Ready? Go. Good. OK, stop, 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 stop. That's enough. That's enough. OK. OK, it's getting better. It's getting better. We see that we need to work a little bit on this stunting and recovering, because we're, a lot of players have this tendency, because they are scared about driving or scared about penetration, that they are stunting, and then they are trying to already gain an advantage by going to a point that is closer to the basket than their opponent which actually puts them in disadvantage because the ball can go there fast. You want to stunt and you want to go on the line back. On the line. If he's going back door, that's not my problem. We will cover that later. If you, you're not doing it now, okay? But if he goes back door, that's not my problem. I want to stop the ball, I want to slow down the ball. Throw it over me or throw it under me, but not on the line. OK, let's do it one more time. Pass the ball when I say drive, drive. Go. Drive, drive, drive. Oh, ball, oh. Good, good, good. OK, OK. Stop, 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 stop. OK, OK. It's getting better. It's getting better. Still, we need to stay, we need to make sure that we're always on the line, up the line, and we're not getting sacked in too much from the ball side. Don't give him this shot. OK, don't, don't come in. Stay on. If I'm driving, you're staying between me, me and him. No, no, yeah, no problem, no problem. No, no, no. OK. Let's, let's talk about this backdoor cut immediately. OK, when we have this situation, let's, let's talk about it. OK, let's go. In generally, what we want is if somebody's moving, we always want to stay on the same position that we have on the line, up the line. So let's say you're on the, on the line, up the line, and now you're moving. Move, move, cut to the basket. So I'm staying, I'm staying in this position. I'm staying in this position on the line, up the line. If you're going back out, you go, you, you stay. Stay in the position. The closer I am to the ball, the shorter is the distance I need to cover. If I'm going directly with him, I need to go the same distance. If I'm staying away from him, go. On the first step, I barely need to move. Then I need to move. But I have shorter distance. The closer I am to the ball, the less, the less distance I have to cover. And I don't necessarily need to be here with him unless he's to be the stand and I'm 150. But then you're not guarding him anyways. So stay, exactly. OK, move, move. Up, good, good, and back. OK, good, good, good. So now, ball here, ball here, now. In this moment that he's cutting, the help side player is reacting in the same way that he is on penetration. So you're here, help side. You're talking like this, help, 
help, help. Now you see him cutting. Now you go like this. Okay? And when he's going back out, then you're going back. Okay, it's the same, it's the same, more or less the same movement like penetration. In that way, the player on the ball can apply a lot of pressure on the passing lanes because he knows there's always going to be somebody behind him covering the backdoor cuts. Okay, let's go. Good, good, good. Press it, press it. Good, good, good. Play, play, play. Good. Good. Good, good. Stop. 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 Okay, now we have a situation. It's a very good situation. Come one more time over the middle. Come one more time over the middle. This is exactly why we need to take away middle penetration. Come over the middle. Okay, stop. Now. Who is going to help here? Me? I'm asking. I don't have the answer because this is never going to happen with me. But you would probably help here, right? You would probably help. Now, if he's a mediocre player, he's standing in the corner, he's thinking three-point shot, three-point shot, three-point shot. If he's a good player, he would go like this. He would say, thank you, Duncan. And this is something that you can't cover. There is no way to cover that if you allow middle penetration. There is just no way. You know, he can, okay, he can come down, but then this shot is open. So this is why we, we need to take away middle penetration and we need to insist on that. So every time she has the ball, no right hand. No, no way, like this. Hop. Well, yeah, he's a gentleman. Ready? Let's go, pass the ball. Good. Middle, 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 close the middle, close the middle. Good, 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 good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Good, close the middle, close the middle, close the middle, drive, drive. Good, bravo. Okay, you see, you see the, the, as long as we're in the right positioning, there is no threat. Immediately when we give up the positioning, which of course is hard now, after five or ten minutes. We give up the positioning, then everything opens. Now, about the cuts. Go one more time. Okay, we do this, we do this now only for demonstration purposes. You're moving the ball, but you cannot, you cannot dribble. You cannot dribble, but still you're trying to score. You're, still you're trying to score, so you can cut all the time. Okay, but you can cut only from the ball side, so don't cut from the weak side. Okay, let's go. Good, 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 good. Cut, 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 cut. Stop, 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 stop. One more time, one more time, guys, come, come back, come back, come back, come back. Let me see the ball. Okay, let's let's put this rule. Okay, let's put this rule. Every time you pass the ball. Every time you pass the ball, you cut, basket cut, and you're, everybody's filling one position, okay? Every time, every time you pass the ball from the corner to the wing, you're basket cutting, and if you don't take the ball, you come back to the corner. Okay, let's do one time slow to see if everybody's got that, and then we go. No cut. Yeah, here we go. Pass, cut, 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 cut. Good, replace, 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 replace. Pass, pass, cut to the opposite corner. Okay? All right, let's go. Go. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, good, good, okay, super. Stop, 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 okay. Okay, basic principle is good. Now, we need to talk a little bit about technique. It's very important. Give the ball here. I'm here. I'm closing the middle. Pass the ball. I need to jump with a pass. I need to jump with a Stay here. I need to jump with a pass like this to have my position. Now, when he wants to cut, again, it's one-on-one -on -one duel. If he's a good player, he wants to cut in front of me because he wants to take the ball. So I need to go here, elbow him like this, and push him behind me. Bop, and then I'm going like this, and I'm guiding him through. I never let anybody cut in front of me, never. It's never going to happen that anybody's cutting in front of me. If he, wants to, he or she wants to cut in front, stop, 
Go behind. Okay, let's do it one more time. Good, 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 good. Don't let him go in front of you. Okay, stop. Okay. Okay. What is, what is for us important is that we are controlling, that we are controlling the motion. Okay. For these guys now, it's a little bit, a little bit too much from a technical standpoint, but we want all the time to initiate the contact and to control the cut. So if he's, I'm jumping here, Bob, go, go, go. I want to make contact, one contact here. Now, as soon as I touch him, you're on help side, you're going to touch him. Okay, go. I'm going bomb, now you're going to, boom, okay. We always, we always want, we always want physical contact. And what looks a little bit rough now, if you watch the EuroLeague games, that's what's going to happen. Nobody's going through the paint without being touched. Nobody. There's no way you're going to go in the paint without being touched. And of course, I can't do it like this, because then they're going to see it. But do it like this or like this, something, OK? OK, try it now really slow. Let's go really slow. 50% of the speed. Every cut, jump the pass. Don't let him go in front and touch him. Touch him one time, touch him two times. Here we go. Now touch him. Good, good, good. Good. And next one. Next, 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 next. Good. Okay, pass it here. Pass, pass. Okay, pass. Cut. No in front, no in front, no. In front. No in front. One more time. Pass. Not in front, not in front. Good, good. Touch, touch, touch. Good. Hadi, let's go. Next. Pass. Good. Pass in the corner. Cut. Good. Help side, help side, help side. Work. Stop, 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 stop. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Okay, basket, basket line, basket, basket. Look, the, here's basket, basket. This orange, orange line. Here. Okay, pass in the corner. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Touch it. Touch him. Good, good, good. Bob, okay. Now, next one is coming. Let's do it slow. Bob, pass, super. Slow, 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 slow. Pass, good. Move, move, move. Stop, 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 stop. The, the ball is flying. The ball is flying. As the ball is flying, everybody's moving. Let's go. Move a little bit over. Move a little bit over. Okay, pass. Jump to the pass. Good, good, excellent, super. Super. Up, up. Good, 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 good. OK, OK, good. So, OK, this is, it's getting better. It's getting better. But you see that we're trying to push the ball always to the outside. On cuts, doesn't matter if this is backdoor cut or basket cut, always contact and always pushing the guy outside. Time is running, so I, I need to speed up a little bit. The next thing I want to want to talk when we talk about cuts, we also need, need to talk about screens. Okay, let's see off-ball screens. Um, give me your big guy. Your big guy. You're here on the wing. Uh, you defend him. Anna, you. Uh, you you go you go white you go white go black. You're under the basket. White is on defense. Um, you are playing defense here on him. And uh, you're here. You play defense. No, 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 no. That's good. You have rest. You rest. You rest. Rest. So, okay. White is on defense. White is on defense. Okay. For, for off-ball screens, we have the same principle that we have for cuts. We want to go in your way of running and change your way of running. The easiest way to describe this, or, or the easiest way that we, we, 
we call it is top block defense. So this means get in your position defensively, white, white defense. Uh, go to the low post, please. Go to low post. Your offense. Your offense, your defense. So here is the ball. This will be your position, right? Okay. As soon as you as soon as you're starting to set the screen, you need to call screen, okay? And then, and as you're doing this, you're opening up like this. You protect the basket. Your job is to protect the basket. As soon as you hear screen, you go on top of him, like this, and you block his way. If, come down, come down, come down, come down. Good, stop, stop, stop. If he's using the screen this way, wait, wait, wait. If he's using the screen this way, no problem. Okay? If he's go using the screen on this side that he wants to use it, you need to go first. You need to be first. Okay? No chance that he, you, you, come one more time. You're making contact. You're making contact like this, like this. No, 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 don't hold him. Don't hold him. Use your arm. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Create separation. Create separation that he cannot, slowly, 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 that he cannot attack your feet. If you let him like this, you, he attacks your feet, he, you, you're beat. Okay? Keep the distance. Keep the distance, don't let him attack your feet. If he's going now out, 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 you're going like this, okay? If he's going back, that's not the problem, okay? Let's do it one more time. Go. Good, very good, very good, very good. Okay, super, good, stop. What you see already is that his motion coming off the screen is away from the basket. It's very difficult to catch the ball like this and shoot it. It's, very, it's, a, it's an unnatural motion, something that your, your, your momentum is going away from the basket. So it eliminates already these turnout shooting situations. A lot of teams are running these turnout situations to, to catch the ball, to shoot, or one dribbling attack, extra pass. Something. This is what we completely eliminate. Now, one more time. Okay, go. One more time. Same, 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 same you did before. Was super. Let's go. Go. Screen. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Stop. 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 Now you see already his position. His position is already exactly the position that we want. He's in the middle. He's closing the middle penetration. He's pushing him to the side. One more time. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. This happened sometimes. It happened sometimes, but it was good. He didn't get free. He was fighting over the screen. No problem. This happened sometimes. What I wanted to show is, come one more time down. One more time down. One more time. Go in top block, top block, top block, top block. Top. Come down, come down, come down. Okay. What happens now is this player also we need to engage. Of course, this distance should not be so big. We don't want to be completely off. I want to protect, let me, let me play this. I want to protect the basket, but I want to protect the basket close. So I'm here. If he wants to go out like this, go. Go. I'm going like this. I'm, I'm blocking his path. I'm not letting him go through here. If he wants to back up, back up, back up to the basket, to the basket. Hop, I'm here. Hop. I'm controlling him. I'm controlling him whole, whole time with my body. I'm not letting him, I'm not letting him t take this position. So, he, so you can trust me that if he's going any other direction than what you think, I, I got you covered. Okay, one more time, let's go. Good, very good, very good. Okay, bravo, bravo. Good, okay. Super, not bad, not bad, not bad. This way, this way we're playing all, all single screens. Doesn't matter where it is. Let's put the ball on the wing. Let's change, you, you, you're the passers. Here, uh, 23 under the basket. Here. Passer, 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 passer. Down screen. Down screen. From here? From here, down screen. Same principle. Exactly the same principle. Different location, but same way we want to defend. Deny position. Okay? Okay, ready? Go. Stop, 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 stop. As she's, you're like this, you're like this. As she's yelling screen, you're changing like this. Okay, you don't need to worry for him to go here. She will be there. Okay? Three. 
Good, 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 very good. Okay. One more time, one more time, one more time. Look me if we go inside. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Oh, go, okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. But of course, this need, this need to be a lot of practice. You need to come like this. And when you see that he's back cutting, you need to like box him out. No, it's full front, like, like full fronting for one second. Let's go. Good, 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 excellent. And go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. No, 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 no. Go up. Yeah, go up. Go inside up. Let's go. No, no, no. He, he made a mistake. Don't, don't worry. Let's go. Good, good, good. Up, 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 up. Okay, one more time, let's go. Let's go. Good, stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. Good, okay, stop. Okay. Now, there are going to be a lot of questions about this. One is going to be, yeah, what happens if he's really cutting towards the corner, who's taking the big guy? Right, that, that will be the first logical question that will come into my mind. Of course, we're going to have two more players on that side. If you run this kind of action, it's only possible you're playing five on five, not three on three. So I got two more guys sitting here on the help side that are covering this. Minimum one, if, if the other coach decides to play this with one guy in the corner. So we've got one more guy here. So I don't need to worry about these big guys so much. Any questions for these single screen actions? Okay. Now what happens if, there, if it becomes a stagger screen? Two more. Can you come? All right, let's go. Okay, uh, you're staying under the basket again. Uh, one first screener, one second screener. Let's go. Your your uh, offense. Ah, your defense. Hey, defense. Okay, we're going stagger screen. You set the first screen. You set the second screen, okay? Okay, slow. Let's, let's do slowly. Stagger screen, stagger screen. On the line, up the line. No, you're sitting the screen. You're here. What is the job? Hands up and screen. Screen. Talk, talk, talk. talk. Which one? Offensively. Yeah, he, he will try to come to the ball. Yeah, he will try to come to the ball. Yeah, okay. So his, his, job is, his, job is, his job is to communicate the screen and to open and protect the basket. Your job still remains the same. Go outside a little bit. You're trying to block him. You're trying to top block him. You set the second screen, okay? Okay, what happens now is the first screen, we will defend exactly like we do the single screen. So top block. Top block, he will go like this, inside out, exactly. So stop, stop. To this point, everything is the same. To this point, everything is the same. But then on the second screen, obviously, it's not possible to do it one more time. So let's do it slowly like this. You're going, you're going like this. Okay, stop, stop. Now, there's two choices he has now. What most teams do is they try to S cut this. They say, okay, I create now this advantage. Now I'm using the screen like I would you. I would normally use it and still come to the ball. In that case, come back. In that case, our position, the second screener defender will go out in the, in, in the passing lane, but with one hand attached to your own man. Okay, so you're going like this. You have one hand you put on your hip like this. Okay, so he, he needs to change his angle to going to the ball to going out, okay? Let's do this. 50% speed, 50% speed, go. Good, good, excellent, good, and go, good. Okay, what, you see already what happened is, and this is exactly what's happening in the games too, that the player who wants to receive the ball, ideally for a shot, had to change his angle of reception from going to the ball, where nobody can shoot the gap, to I'm going backwards and I'm opening up a big gap for the defender to shoot and try to steal the ball. 
And if, if, if this is a really good defender, he can go from this top block situation here, pop, and he sees, okay, second screen's coming, he's got this, and immediately here in the gap. And we create a lot of turnovers that way, because the guy usually is used to being open after coming off a stagger screen, and now the guy is coming at full speed and trying to shoot the gap. The second solution is to use both screens inside out. So top block, pop, and now you're going on both screens inside. Now we're doing the same thing that we did on the single screen. You're closing the gap, exactly. You're closing the gap and you're not letting him through. Just, you need to be careful, don't do it with the elbow, do it with a, with a rear end in the best case, and that's it, okay? One time, let's go. You're like this. You're, you're in this stance, and if you see him coming, you just go over okay. here. A little bit. So, so, okay. okay? Let's go. Good. Inside out, good. Close the gap. Good. Excellent. Power. Okay, super. 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 He did exactly what a lot of players will do. He's taking the easiest route. The easiest route with the least contact. So, this is for you easy because you're already on that side. You're already on that side. He's coming to you, he's going with you, and you, you don't need to do nothing. You eliminate, you eliminate the stagger screen. Good. One more time, let's do it one more time. <coughs> good, 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 super, super, wow, wow. Okay, again, this, this method we're using doesn't matter where it is. Doesn't matter where it is. Now, one thing is coming, okay, last thing. I get asked this all the time, yeah, but they're not going to stand like this. Of course they're not. So first screen, slowly go. After the first screen, you're going a little bit. You're going a little bit, up. You make contact with him, up. And now, and now, as you're going, you're bumping him, you start to go to the basket. Okay? Okay. He stays with his man, right? Or we're switching? No, you're not switching, but you will have help, okay? Okay, let's do this one time slowly. Go. Okay, super, 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 super. Okay, and now you, the, the defender of the first screener, and this is what is very important because a lot of guys relax. They're, they're thinking, okay, I'm here to protect the basket. Yeah, he's not coming to the basket, okay. No, that's not the case. You need to be alert. You need to make contact, initiate contact, read the passer, read the passer and be ready for the lock pass. And if, if he's really throwing this and I'm alert, I can get it every time. I can get it every time. But if I'm sleeping, then your man will score. So it's very important that I don't relax in the stagger screen situation. It doesn't matter if this is now in this way or this is across the baseline. Let's put it across the baseline. Go here. Go on the top. Here, shooter, shooter, shooter. 23. First, first. Second, second, across the baseline, like this. Okay, now same thing, we're doing the same thing, okay? Okay, yeah. which way he want to go? Baseline, so you're pushing him up, okay? You're pushing him up, he's going, you're on the line, up the line, you're on the line, up the line. If he wants to go to the ball, pump me, pump me, pump me, pump me, like this, exactly. Okay, let's go. Good, push him up, push him up. Good, good, good. Bump. Okay. Okay. One more time. Bump him down. Okay, bump him. He need, if important is that he need to bump him down. He need to, if he's coming like this, okay, bump him down, push him back, push him back in. Okay, let's go. Good, 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 good. Excellent, excellent. Stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. Stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. Okay, stay, 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 stay behind him, behind him. All the time, stay behind him. Okay, slow, 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 good. Okay, slow, keep going, keep going, keep on, slow, 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 slow. Okay, we're doing everything too fast. Okay, go. Now, second screener, what is your drop? He's coming around. Yeah, bravo, super. Excellent. Stop, 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 excellent. Now, his job is, his job is to be here. 
to be in an open stance that if he's back cutting in the moment that you're going out, in this moment that I can cover this pass. I can cover this pass. And this is very important. Don't relax. Don't relax while your screen is, is finished. Okay, let's do it really slow. Let's do it really slow. Don't rush. Take it easy. Let's go. Okay, bump, good, up, go. keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stunt, good, and good. And now I'm coming back to my first principle, and my first principle was ball pressure. If this guy here, this player, can stand like this and observe the court, he will find some solution. He will find some solution. But if he's working here, and I get him out of the middle, oh, double, 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 double. I get him out of the middle a little bit. Now this pass is more or less impossible. More or less impossible. And he's, all, he's already here because he wants to make this pass. Now this pass over there is impossible. And we have everything covered. Plus, we have a fifth defender who will sag in and protect the basket. OK, one more time slowly. OK, let's go. Hadi, let's go. Play, 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 play. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Good. Good. OK, stop. This is how we want to defend stagger screens. It doesn't matter where this stagger screen will take place. It's always the same principle, always. Any questions? OK. Pick and roll defense. OK, you two and you two. White is on defense, black is on offense. OK, I want to talk about side pick and roll first. OK, guys, you, you have, you're resting for now. Since our, main, since our main principle was to keep the ball all the time out of the middle, we want to continue with this in pick and roll defense. So we, we developed, or we, we found a solution for us, which we, we call it push down defense. I know a lot of people would probably call it ice defense or, or fan defense or side defense, but we want to push the ball out of the middle also in pick and roll. So if he's coming to set the screen, first, you want to, what we call, punish the screener. You don't want to let him go to screen. You want to punish him a little bit. OK, let's go. Come. Like this, OK? And then screen, and then protect the sideline. OK? Now, a lot of teams, a lot of, wait, wait, wait. A lot of teams are doing this, that they're here, more or less like you already started, to say, OK, screen, ice, 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 and they're protecting the basket. And, and a lot of offenses have started to adapt to this and started with this snake dribbling or S dribbling or whatever you want to call it. What we did is we said, OK, why we're playing aggressive hatch out. Everybody's talking about aggressive hatch out defense. Why we're not doing this on down or on ice? So we said we're playing on the limit of the trap. Like, you're coming with him. Screen. Screen. Left, left, left. And I'm staying on the level of the screen. I'm coming directly here on the level of the screen. And, and putting the pressure here. It makes it for the big guy a little bit easier because he doesn't have to face a player who's coming at him at full speed. It's a, it's a player that's still accelerating. So I'm, I, I have this advantage. Plus, I have the sideline. I have the sideline which is helping me. So I'm here, go. And I'm here, and I have the sideline here. And we, we found that all the teams that we played started to recheck the screen. They would go like this. OK, set the screen. Like this, hop. And that's it. That's all they did. Because they are scared of going into that situation here, sideline and two defenders. They are scared of this. They are scared of this. OK, let's do it one time. Go down under the basket. I'm coming to this point. OK, ready, go. Good, 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 back. OK, good, super, super. Now, she had a very good question. Probably the best question I've ever been asked to this topic. How long do I stay? OK, your goal is to make the ball handler, A, pick up the ball, or B, retreat with the ball, or C, your man is going towards the basket. This is the three areas for you where you release the defense. So if he come in, come in here, pick up the ball, pick up the ball, pick up, pick it up. OK, finish. That's it. If he's retreating, come one more time, back dribbling, OK? 
Let's go. Okay, up. By yourself, by yourself. I'm out of there, okay? The last thing is hold the screen and, and do it with your backside like this. You set the screen like this, mm -hmm. yeah? And then slowly go to the basket, okay? Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, I'm here. Screen, 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 go, go. By yourself, by yourself, by yourself. Okay, if the guy is starting to row, then I'm releasing. Because this is the moment where the screen is gone and it should be no, no problem for him to regain his position in between the ball and the basket. Okay, start down, let's do it one more time. Good, excellent, 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 excellent. Good, 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 bravo. Okay, now you see already two on two, two on two, they gotta stop. This is unbelievable for two on two defense. Okay, now our, our other principles come back into play. We have a player here, black, and we have a player in the corner, black. Where are you? Basket, basket line, excellent, where are you? Basket, basket line. More, 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 basket, okay. Now we still have the same principle that we, that we had before. Ball side, help side, one more time slow, let's go. No, oh, stop. Okay. In this moment, in this moment, we're sending the, the high eye defender, him, depending on his speed and athleticism, one or two steps closer to the screen. So one step or two. What you want is if he's coming, come, you want to hit him. Okay? But important is, and this is very important, don't hit him down here. If you hit him down here, your man will shoot a three-point shot. It needs to be right here, right here, pop and back. If the, if the pass is going here, super. Oh, let's go. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Super. One more time. One more. One more. One more. Good, good. Excellent. Excellent. Power. 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 Good. Stunt. Good. Okay, stop. That was super. That was really excellent how they did it. I mean, it's pick and roll situation and not one time the ball penetrated. Not one time the ball got in. It got in, back out. In, back out, passed around, excellent stunt, second pass. And everybody was very good. <clears throat> Any questions? Okay, one frequent question that I get asked all the time is what happens if this guy is really good and he's engaging the on-ball defender in a way that I cannot change my position. Let's say you're attacking baseline, attack baseline, bop, stop. Okay, and, and then cross over and come to the middle. And like this, bop, and stop. And now you're coming to set the screen this way. Okay? No, like this. Still, you're doing the same thing. Same thing, same thing. Okay, ready? Slowly, let's go. Three. Stop, stop, stop. Exactly this. Exactly this is the biggest problem. If this player, if this player is, let's go. If this player is preparing me, bringing me in that I'm here, now the screen is coming in my, in my back, and now my, my job still would be to cut him off here, to cut him off and push him back. This would be my job. And what happens if that, if that is coming? Now, we work, come, set a good screen. One more time, you can really stand, stand tough. Okay, what we're, what we're teaching the players, if the screen is so good that you cannot change your position and force him back, you're going like this into him and you're spinning around. Go, go, keep going. And I'm cutting him off here. And then I have the same situation. He will turn around and we will have exactly the same, exactly the same situation one more time. Can you do this, boy? Let's go. Let's do it slowly, 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 slowly. Wait, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good screen, good screen. Good, 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 good. Under, 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 good. Okay, back. Okay, one more time. Come here. Okay, hold the ball, hold the ball. Like this. Okay. Set the screen like this. Now you go under. Go, go, under, under, catch him. Good, and bring him back, bring him back. Dribble, 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 dribble. Good, good, super. Excellent, okay. That's what, that's what we're teaching the players if they cannot change the angle. 
if he can change the angle, we want to stay in this down or ice situation. So well, you try to screen from the middle all the time, OK? All the time, try to screen from the middle. You do the same thing. You do the same thing. You, do, you keep the ball on the side. OK, let's go. Three. Good, 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 press, press, good. <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. OK, again, same principle. Up, you're here. Screen. Wait, wait, wait. We want to be here like this, in this rectangle, on the level of the screen. Again, using the sideline, use your hands. Use your hands, press the ball, press the ball, press the ball. Exactly. And he can even, he can even, we go even to the point where our players go like this. Because they know that if he wants to go, hold the ball, hold the ball. And if he wants to go to the baseline, there is the big guy, or b big girl in this case, to, to, stop the, to stop the ball all the time there. So we are pressuring the ball, and the ball always is influenced to the side all the time. OK, hold the ball one more time. Start, start here, start here, start here. OK, now same thing. Go to set the screen and play. Three. Good, good, good. Press, 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 press. Good, good. One more time, one more time. Don't, don't, don't give up the dribbling. dribbling. Keep dribbling. Keep dribbling. One more time. Let's go. Go, go. Three. Good, excellent, 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 excellent. Good, good. Good, excellent. OK, stop, 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 stop. OK, exactly this is what's happening. Of course, offensive players are a little bit more experienced, and defensive players are a little bit more experienced. But the same thing happens. They're trying to use the screen. They're rejecting the screen. They're coming back. They're going one more time screening. If it's really good teams, they swing the ball. They try the same thing on the other side. But what happens against us, all the teams stop playing side pick and roll. They say, forget about side pick and roll. We do something else. Because in this way, we're only wasting time. Um, OK, play in, the, play in the middle. Pick. We need to speed up a little bit. We're, we're late. OK, uh, pick and roll in the middle. Same way, we want to be aggressive all the time. So what we're doing is we're playing hard hedge. He's coming. We're going, exactly, we punish the screen and we go out 45 degrees. No, no, 40, 45. 40. For, towards, OK, we're giving the players always the, the corner of the half court, the corner of the half court as the goal, OK? So always in this direction we want to go out. If you're going like this, there is a big risk of getting split, OK? Go back one more time, set the screen. Let's go. Good, 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 good. OK, back. Good. OK, again, same. Let me see the ball. Let me play Ponka one time. OK. Again, the same, the same rules. When do, we, when do we stop to play defense? Come on, one more time. OK, what we want is the ball handler wants to create separation. We want to eliminate this. So when I'm coming here, Bob, as soon as I go like this, you're going back. But you let him through. So he will go over the screen under you, under you over, under. Over under. OK? Yep. Yep. OK, so I'm coming. I'm coming with the ball. I'm going here. I'm trying to attack your hip. Yep. And then he, you're coming and you cut me off. OK? Because that's, that's what all teams will do. If, if you're coming out hedging, I will try to attack your hip and turn the corner around you. And then he needs to cut me off. OK, okay let's go. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Hedge. Good, good, good. OK, stop, stop, stop. OK, of course, very important is what I said before, is that we apply good ball pressure. And we use our hands. So what we're doing is, let me see the ball. OK, if, he, if I'm guarding him, OK, first of all, we have signals for screens also with sides, so left or right, so I know which side I need to push him. So you would say screen left. For me, because, OK? And in the moment that I hear this, screen left, I'm changing my position from this to this, that I cannot get screened. Okay, move out of the way a little bit. If I'm like this, I cannot get screened. If I'm running now in this direction, he wants to hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Not me. No, you okay. need to hit me. You want to screen me. If I'm like this, you want. But this is moving screen. You saw this? This is a moving screen. He can only screen me if I'm trying to go lateral. If I'm going forward, he cannot screen me. You cannot screen me. I'm going like this. You cannot screen me. 
So this is when I'm guarding the ball here. I'm at uh, here, screen left. I adjust my angle like this. I press the ball. I, press, I keep pressuring the ball, and he cannot screen me. And then I can still go under or over. Let's do it one time. Let's go. No. No, don't worry. You'll be, you'll be fine. Let's go. Good, good, good. Up, good. Good, OK. OK, one more time. One more time. Now, I, I, I said earlier that we put a lot of emphasis on, on handwork. We see now that there is no handwork whatsoever. No hand, there is a trap. There is a trap, and nobody's putting pressure on the wall. So what I want you to do is, when you're coming out, use your left hand and go like this for the ball. Go for the ball. All you have. If, if you don't touch the ball, you're still in very good position to play defense. OK, but be careful about with your. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Wow, wow, excellent. OK, super. OK, super. OK, now it was a lot better. She, by only by putting her hand there, she made him pick up the ball and get rid of the ball early. Again, and this is now, this is now already something that, that is quite difficult. I always teach my big guys that they need to read the game. So let's say you're going down. No, 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 go, 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 go with him. And if he's coming to screen now, you need to identify where there is two defenders and then call left or right accordingly. So in this case, we, are, we have been sending him all the time to the wrong side. OK. If there is two defenders, you want him to roll on the side where there's two defenders. Okay. So you, 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 come, you keep coming left, 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 and you need to pick him up. OK? You need to come in and pick him up. The screener, the screener, OK? Let's do it one more time. Let's go. Good, 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 good. Pick him up, pick him up, good. OK. OK, not bad. Not bad. Not bad, but you need to be a little bit earlier. So you, you're coming in like this, you're waiting for him here, instead of going to him and meet him up here. If you bump him a little bit, only a little bit, this ball is going out of bounds. OK? Higher, higher, higher. It's higher. OK, one more time. Let's go. Good, good, good. Wow, excellent. Super. Stop. Excellent. Now it's coming together. They're doing already a good job here on the ball. They're, hold the ball. They're doing a good job here on the ball. Now we have the first help bumping, and now it's becoming really difficult. A lot of people ask me, yeah, but if you're bumping so deep in with this guy, isn't that a big risk of this guy shooting over there? No, it's not. Since we're applying so much pressure here, we're applying so much pressure, his head is like this. This pass is very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult pass to make. Plus, we're teaching our players, and this is now a different topic, but we're teaching our players to be awake. You ready? OK. So when I'm coming here, stop. Now, you're coming in to bump. You take one step up already. One step up, one step. OK, and now he's ready. If I'm too ready to make this pass, go, 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 go. Oh, OK. If he's good, he's good, he can go get that steal. And that's also an area where we, where we take a lot of steals, because this is A, a tough pass for me to make, B, this guy can read me perfectly because he has nothing else to, to guard. And his man is not really a threat. I mean, I, I'm playing in this defense now 10 years, and all the time players in practice ask me, yeah, but coach, what if they throw the LU pass for this guy in the corner? I said, guys, try it. Try it for every turnover you create. We do one suicide. We're running a lot, guys, because they. This pass is impossible. This pass is impossible. So what we're doing is we're applying so much pressure and force the ball this way that this guy is over there. The first guy is bumping really hard and early. The second guy is reading the situation. And he's, he can take a lot of steals. If I'm make, making this pass, he can steal it. If I'm passing it to the corner, he can steal it. But he needs to be in good position. OK. 
Okay, anything else? Any questions to the pick and roll defense? Okay, just one last thing I want to cover real quick. What we're doing about low post, okay? In low post, go in low post. Go in low post. Go here. Okay, in low post, we're playing the exact same way as we are playing penetration. This means if the ball is going into the low post, pass it, pass it. If the ball is going to the low post, we're closing the middle, we're pressuring the ball, so on my inside hand, my outside, my outside hand is pushing him, my inside hand is going for the ball constantly all the time, doesn't matter where it is, and I'm forcing him to penetrate baseline. In this moment, on first dribbling, first dribbling, there need to be a trap. There need to be a trap here, two hands up, pop, and I'm like this, pop, and we're stopping him. This is the same, the same rules and the same principles as in penetration. We don't want to change it or we don't want to give them something to think about. We want to do everything the same. The same principle for every situation. One, one time and then I'll finish. Let's go. Up. Good, good, good. Oh, excellent. Good ball. Okay, any questions about low post? Okay, let's give these guys a round of applause. Thank you for it. Okay, uh, I think I tried to, to cover as many situations as possible. The two things that I didn't speak about now are, are fade and flare screens. Um, what we're trying to do on, on, on flare screens is we always try to, like I said, we always try to protect the middle, so we're going over on flare screens. We're, we're going over on flare screens, and we're asking the screener's defender, again, to be physical, to come out and make contact and then go back immediately to his men. Um, as I said, it, I think if you want to defend this way, it is very important that you do it for full court, that you're always pressing the ball, and if you, don't, if you don't get the ball out of the middle, then sometimes you have problems because when the ball's in the middle, they can make good decisions. So always pressing full court, forcing the ball out of the middle. This is, I think, the, the key to, to successful defense and to be aggressive rather than reactive. Okay, if there are any questions, I, I heard that we have now a discussion forum for, for questions, so feel free to ask there, and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.